the graph of quadratic equation. The quadratic equation of the form y is equal to ax squared. If our a is positive, the graph is open upward. The vertex is at 0 and 0 or is at the origin. So our graph look like this. Now if our a is negative, this one here, our a is negative, the graph look like this. So the concavity is open downward. Or the opening is downward. And still our vertex is at 0 and 0. The graph here, the first graph, reaches its minimum value at y is equal to 0 or at 0, it reaches its lowest point. The vertex is the turning point of the graph of a parabola. Now, if our a is negative, it reaches its maximum value. It reaches its highest or the peak of the parabola. Now, what if we have the graph of x is equal to ay squared? The graph is open to the left, or right rather. So, the opening is at the right side or the concavity is on the right side. While if our a is negative, the graph is open to the left. Now, what if our graph takes the form y is equal to ax squared plus k? So, in this case, the graph is translated either upward or downward, depending on the value of k. Now, if our k is positive, of course, the original graph is this one. If it is translated 2 units upward, meaning our k moves 2 units upward. So our graph now, or the equation of the graph, is this one. y is equal to x squared plus 2, and whose vertex is at 0 and 2. Now what if our graph is translated 2 units downward from the original and the original, of course, is this one. This is our original equation. Now, it takes the new form. y is equal to x squared minus 2. So, if our k is negative, the graph is moved 2 units downward. Or the graph is moved downward. Now, what if our graph takes the form y is equal to the square of the quantity x minus h? So, the translation is from either left or right. And our graph look like this one. So, if we have y is equal to the square of the quantity x minus 2, so the movement is going to the right now what if our graph is going to the left so it takes the form y is equal to the square of the quantity x plus 2 so our vertex is at negative 2 and 0 now what if the graph of y is equal to x squared moves 2 units to the right and 4 units downward. What is the new equation? Again, the given is 2 units to the right, 2 units to the right, and 4 units downward. What is the new equation? So the new equation is this one. So 2 units to the right, that is x minus 2, so this one, 2 units to the right, and 4 units done on So you just count 1, 2, 3, and 4. 
So our k is negative since it is moving downward. And of course, our h is also negative. So our vertex, what is our vertex? So our vertex is at h and k. So our h is, okay, positive 2 and negative 4 for our k. So our vertex is at neg is at 2 and negative 4. So what if our equation y is equal to the square of the quantity x minus 2 minus 4 is translated 4 units to the left. 4 units to the left. So I give you 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 5 units upward. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's somewhere else here. So what will be our new equation? So our new equation is this one. So the vertex. What will be our vertex? Our vertex is at negative 2 and 1. Okay.